What's up guys, it's Drex here. Today I'm gonna show you guys on how to make this tan joggers invisible torso outfit for your male character. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the first part and I'll show you guys on how to get the tan joggers. Now to get the tan joggers, you're gonna go over here to this location on the map and we're gonna be using this clothing store and this stunt race. Once you do get here to this location, if you don't see the stunt race on the map, I'll show you guys on how to get it. So pull up your interaction menu. You're then gonna go to map blimp options, which will be on slot nine and then click on jobs on slot three, scroll down to stunt races on slot 14. And if it does say hide like this, you won't see it on the map. So just press right on the D-pad once and then it will be set to show. And then you should see that it's right here next to the clothing store. So once you do see the job right here next to the clothing store, now you're gonna register as a CEO. So pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve and start an organization. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and scroll through your CEO style until you find the Warlord outfit, which will give you the tan joggers, just like this. When you are wearing the Warlord outfit, put away your interaction menu. You can now go into the stunt race circle and just press right on the D-pad to enter. After you do enter, it's going to bring you into the settings. You don't need to change anything in your settings, so you can just confirm the settings and then just launch the job on your own. When you do launch the job on your own, it's going to show you random motorcycles or your personal motorcycles. Scroll through the motorcycles for at least a few seconds. Once you have scrolled through the motorcycles, you can then just fully quit the job. When you do fully quit the job, you will see that you are wearing the outfit you had on before the Warlord, which is exactly what you want. So once you do load back in, run back inside the clothing store as fast as you can, and you're going to walk up here to the front counter. When you do get up here to the front counter, press right on the D-pad to browse the outfits and you're gonna sit here for at least maybe five to 10 seconds or at least until it does kick you out. So it should kick you out automatically, just like this. When it does kick you out, you can now pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO and retire. When you retire, you should still be wearing the outfit, which is exactly what you want. Now we can create the outfit in the thumbnail. So to create this tan joggers invisible torso outfit, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my duffel bag real quick and just take off my head accessories. So now once you are wearing the tan joggers, just walk up here to the top section, scroll down until you find overcoats, which will be on slot 20 and look for the fall closed parka, which is on slot 16. For me, it does say open, but I'll show you guys on how to set it to open. So once you do equip the fall closed parka, you can then just back out of the tops now for you to be able to set it to open, pull up your interaction menu, go to style and then go to jacket. Now, if it does say closed, just like this, press right on the D-pad and then you'll set it to open. Once your jacket is open, go back into your tops, scroll down to designer t-shirts on slot 32 and you're gonna scroll down to black print t-shirt on slot 59. So once you do have the fall closed or the fall open to parka and then the black print t-shirt, you can then just back out of your tops and now we can go over here to our accessories when you do get to your accessories, just go to gloves on slot seven and you're gonna scroll down until you do find the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you do have the black woolen gloves, that's all for your accessories. Now for the shoes, you're just gonna go to sneakers on slot two and equip the pearl plain high tops on slot nine. Once you do have these sneakers, back out. Now make sure your character does not have any head accessories so you can just take it off the, through your interaction menu by just scrolling through your gear or whatever and then once your head accessories are off and your outfit looks exactly like mine, go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12, equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask, then you can back out of the front counter and now we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. Once you have found a telescope on the pier, now you're just going to do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and then you're going to equip the outfit that we saved earlier, which will look just like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask merges with your outfit just like this. What we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. After you make it to the gun store, you're now going to walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the tops, and now we're going to start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job, and fully start up that mission. And when you do load into the job, you will see that you have a, an invisible torso with the toxic mask, just like this. So walk back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit once again on any slot that you want. 
After you have saved your outfit, back out of your tops, you can now just pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. Whenever you have loaded back into a public or an invite only lobby, you will see that your torso is invisible still and you guys have a toxic mask. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this toxic mask so it won't be on our head all the time. So you're gonna wanna go back inside the gun store, go over here to the gear. Once you do equip a gear, you can then just go ahead and just take it off your character. You don't need to keep it on your character forever. So now it should look exactly like this. What we're gonna do now to take it off is start up Titan of a job again. So hit pause, go to online, just go to jobs, play job, Rockstar created missions, and then you're gonna go ahead and just start up Titan of a job again. And when you load into the Titan of a job again, you'll see that the white hood is now off your character and it's around your neck. So you're gonna go back into the tops and just save your outfit once again. After you do save your outfit, you can back out of your tops, pull up your phone and quit the job. After you are back in a public or an invite on the lobby, you should see that the hood is still off your character. Now you're gonna head over here to the mask store when you do make it to the mask store, you can either go over here to the tops, the hats, or the mask, and you're just going to hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, you're now going to go into the hat section, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 23, and you're going to scroll down until you find the fall quad lens, which will be up here on slot 36. Now, once you do buy the fall quad lens, you can then just back out of the hats, go back over here to the mask, and then you're gonna scroll down to head scarves, which will be on slot 16, and you're gonna scroll down until you find the fall head scarf. So it's gonna be called the fall wrap on slot 36, and you're gonna go ahead and buy this. So you will see that your outfit does come off. That's the reason we just saved the outfit earlier. So now you're gonna go ahead and equip the fall wrap mask back out of the mask store that's the reason we did also buy the helmet because we're going to be merging the helmet with this mask so what you're going to want to do now is just head over here to the pier when you have made it to the pier and you found a telescope do the telescope glitch so run by the telescope like this press right on the d-pad you'll see that your character runs in place then look towards the telescope that's how you know you're glitched pull up your interaction menu go to style go to your accessories and you're going to scroll through your helmets until you do find the fall quad lens. So you will see that your mask does come off your character, but you guys don't need to worry. Once you do find the fall quad lens, you can then just put away your interaction menu. So here's the fall quad lens. Once you do find the fall quad lens, you can then put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask merges with your helmet, just like this. Now we're gonna merge it all together with the outfit. So do the telescope glitch again, run, press right on the D-pad, your character will run in place. Then you look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit that we saved earlier, which will look like this. Now put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask and helmet will merge together with your outfit. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save the outfit. After you do save your outfit, we're then gonna head to our auto shop, so then we can get the tan duffel bag. When you do make it to your auto shop, make sure you register as a CEO or an MC. After you do that, you're now gonna go up here to the job board and for your contract, make sure it's gonna be called the data contract. So if you do not see the data contract, what you wanna do is just go ahead and select any type of contract. After you do select it, you're gonna go ahead and leave your auto shop, go ahead and call Santa on your phone, and then you're gonna go ahead and cancel that contract. Once you do cancel that contract, go back up here to the job board and then just keep doing that over and over until you find the data contract. Once you do click on the data contract, you will have to complete both of these jobs, the safe house location and the defenses. Once you do have those two, then you're going to have the robbery. Now, when you do have the robbery, you're just going to launch that mission. After you launch the mission, you don't need to change anything in here. You can just confirm your settings and then launch the job on your own. After you launch the job, it's not going to show you your car. It doesn't matter which car you choose. You can then just confirm your settings and then just hit ready to play. Now, when you do load out with your car, just like this, you're now going to go ahead and get out of your car. You will see that you have the tan duffel bag on your character. You guys won't have your mask on your character, which I'll show you guys on how to get that back later. So now that you can see you have the tan duffel bag, what you want to do now is just pull up your interaction menu. You're going to go to style, go to illuminating clothing, and you're going to scroll through illuminating clothing for at least 35 seconds. When you have scrolled through your illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds, what you want to do now is just go and sit at your Xbox or PlayStation home and just sit here 
for about two to three minutes until it does kick you out of the job. When you think you've gotten kicked from the job, just load back into GTA. It should say that you got kicked and then just hit continue. And once you guys do load back into a public or an invite only lobby, you will see that you have a parachute on your character and it might not be a duffel bag. So pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, and then go to management, go to style and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the right and then one time to the left back to none. And then you will see that the duffel bag is now on your outfit. Now we're going to go ahead and get the mask back on our outfit. So what you want to do is get an oppressor mark two and then just fly towards the beach. When you make it to the beach with your oppressor mark two, make sure you fly high in the sky just like this. And then once you think you're high enough, go ahead and jump off your oppressor. Now you can just go ahead and fall for a little bit if you think you're too high. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and pull your parachute, pull up your interaction menu, go to style and just hover over the outfit we saved earlier. And then we're going to go ahead and wait until we land. When you do land, once your character is starting to take off the parachute, just like this, equip the outfit we saved earlier, and then you should see that the mask merges with the duffel bag and the rest of your outfit. Now, we're going to go ahead and save it, so hopefully you're at the beach. Now we're going to do the mask store glitch. Get back on your oppressor mark 2. Once you've gotten back on your oppressor mark 2, fly high in the sky, just like this. Once you do think you're high enough, aim yourself towards the mask door, jump off your oppressor. Now you're going to aim yourself towards the mask door, pull the parachute. And if you do want to slow your character down, you can hold your left and right bumper at the same time. Just like this, I'll slow your character down. Now try to have your character hit the blue tarp so your character falls. And then once your character falls, start spamming right on the D-pad. Now you'll either be into the hats or the mask or maybe the tops. Now you can hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved your outfit, back out of the mask, the tops, or the hats. Now, the parachute will fall off your character, but pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit you just saved, and you should see that the duffel bag is now on your character, and it will save forever. So if you guys see, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through my outfits, and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll back, and you can see that the duffel bag is still here. So even if you do switch sessions, after you do maybe take yourself out, you will see that the duffel bag is still there. But yeah. That will be all, so here's what it does look like in the pause menu if you are uh, wondering, and that will be all. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tan jogger's invisible torso outfit for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.